We've produced several segments about hydrangeas over the years, focusing mostly on the differences in types and on the pruning. So I thought it would be a really good idea to take a look at what happens after we do manage them right. Let's start with what's been pruned and how hard. This is the panicle type hydrangea, pruned very, very hard in the winter, just coming into its bloom season. And the beauty of this is it's at the height where you can see it, the flowers are much larger. This is one of the older ones called Pink Diamond. The one that people are most familiar with is Limelight or Little Lime, and those are two that would actually be pruned hard like that. The oak leaf hydrangea has bloomed a lot earlier in the season. This is the one that is 100% woody. We don't really do much pruning on this one at all, but I want to note for you that this one is pretty much covered with leaf spot. We're seeing a lot of leaf spot in hydrangea, both on this one and on the macrophylla types. This is something that we actually manage, not now, earlier in the season. You'll also notice that the flowers on this are completely spent. So a woody one and a woody one, not pruned, pruned very, very hard. Difference in bloom season is also one of the things that makes the hydrangea so great. The giant flowered pink and blue hydrangeas or the big leaf hydrangeas that people love do this. So depending on which one you've got, by this time in the season, you'll notice we have very few flowers. We have a handful of buds. The ones that have been bred for blooming repeat bloom on both old wood and new wood, nevertheless, don't necessarily perform well in Nebraska. So this is really what you can expect, maybe a little bit taller. You'll notice the same sort of leaf spot going on, but certainly not the same display that you get from the panicle type or the oak leaf hydrangeas. Remember to get that blue color in those big leaf hydrangeas, you have to have an acid soil, which we don't. You see some pink in this one as well. This is one of the panicle types that we talked about that really need to be pruned properly. The one called Strawberry Sunday and some of the others do have some pink as the flowers fade. But what I really want to point out is the breeders have bred those great big mop head types that turn pink and blue and put hydrangeas on standard because that seems to be something that the public wants. You'll notice that this hydrangea really has a bend in the trunk. There's a stake next to it where there was an attempt made to straighten it back up again. That is almost impossible to do. The plant is heavy, the bend is there. So you're probably stuck with staking a hydrangea that really is not on a very strong standard for the rest of its life. And that's not usually what people want to see in their landscape. If you look instead at this one, even though this one is still on standard, it's been managed perhaps a little differently, probably not pruned the way that we pruned the ones that we looked at earlier. It is beginning to throw a sucker from the base. And that looks to me like it's coming from below the graft union. So again, you have to know how to manage these hydrangeas if you really want the beauty in the landscape that you think you're after. As with any placement of plants, the site is really important. This is north facing, but there's good air circulation. One thing I want you to note, however, is this is actually a dwarf form of that big panicle hydrangea. It is much smaller than the big one. It may not have read the book, so to be able to keep enough space between the building and the plant is very important. This one has not really been managed or pruned much and doesn't need as much as the big one does. However, if you look at this, this is smooth hydrangea. Annabelle is the most popular one and there are many others. This one has stems that need to be cut back. If you cut them back all the way in the spring of the year, you get a lot of growth, great big flower heads. If you cut them back by about 12 to 18 inches, you get slightly smaller flower heads, but they're not gonna flop and fall over in the rain. So make sure again that you understand what kind of hydrangea you have, when you should prune it, whether it needs acid soil. Of course, what that site location is, pay attention to things like those rots and spots if you get them, but live with it unless it is absolutely devastating. 